Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your timeless love reading. This reading is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the person that you are most thinking of. So the person that you are hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with, have previously connected to, are in current connection, or will be connecting with in the near future. It is a general love reading for the collective, so please take only what messages align with you and your situation. Leave behind what simply does not fit. Use your intuition to discern. I hope all of my Libras out there are doing well. And you guys know the drill. Feel free to check your moon rising Venus signs for you or your person to get additional information or to get the whole view of what may be happening now. All right, my beautiful Libras, we're going to be looking at your past, present, future energy, your person, the person on your mind's past, present, future energy, the past, present, future shared energy between you, overall energies, hidden energies, any additional information you need to know, and then we'll be jumping into some Rainman's angels, some messages from your person, and finally, the zodiac sign showing up most dominantly in your energy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and lay out the spread, and then we will jump into it. All right, so we're coming through uh, Libra with the King of Swords. Your person is coming through with the Four of Wands. The energy between you is the High Priestess. Current energy, you have the Two of Cups. They're coming through with the Page of Pentacles. And the shared energy between you is the King of Cups. Beautiful energy there. Future energy, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Five of Wands for your person, and then we have the Eight of Cups is shared energy between you. Overall energy here is the Star with the hidden energy of the Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right, guys, so over, well, let's let's kind of take a beat, take a moment, because this may be confusing you guys, but before we get to the, the end here are the future energies, uh, let's let's not jump to conclusions just yet. So the overall energy here is the star. This is the energy of Aquarius. We have also have Cancer Pisces showing up in this reading right off the bat. So you may be connecting with a Cancer Pisces or an Aquarius, don't have to be. But what I see here is this beautiful Aquarian energy of you know coming into a balance of healing, of faith, it's about not being able to see where you're going, but knowing that when you're being guided there and knowing that when you get there, it's going to be a beautiful reward. This is wishes being granted. This is dreams coming true. The hidden energy coming in is saying that you won the battle and not maybe not the war at this moment, but you won the battle. There's a victory to be had for somebody. This could represent reconciliation, but this is like a victory, a victorious moment. This is moving forward. Uh, I love it. All right, so oh, the center of the spread, which is the most important reading, is this is the energy of the uh, King of Cups. The King of Cups speaks to leading by example. It's about being in control of your emotions, sitting in them, feeling them, acknowledging them, but not letting them rule you, not making soul reactions and re reactive emo decisions and actions based off them. This is also for sitting in the period of unconditional, unwavering, and true love here. And that is your most important card here. <clears throat> so let's take a look at your past energy. Now, for those of you that are brand new, new to this channel and you don't know quite how these readings work, for me, if you are single, if you have not met, met your person, this reading can speak, speak to where, you're, where, where you were at in the past, where they were at in the past, where you currently are, where they currently are, and what your future may bring. And for either one of you, either separately or together. All right, so let's take a look at your overall energy. Also, feel free to swap these around, cross watchers the same, whichever resonates the deepest and aligns with you. All right, so we have the King of Swords as the past energy for you, Libra. This could very well you be sitting in your own energy, but this is, you know, having the decision-making capabilities for looking at things from a logical and analytical mind. This is 
Also, I'm leaning into the, your relationships, your emotions could be a bit detached here. Trying to make a fair and balanced decision and not allowing your emotions to run those decisions for you. So there's something that you were considering here. So you may have cut something off as well, but there is this, 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 this weight that I'm feeling indicating that a serious decision, a serious choice needed to be made or was being made here in the past by you, was being considered by you. Your person is coming through as the four of wands. So this could be somebody that you guys could have been in a, a long-term commitment, long-term partnership. They could have been wanting commitment, wanting marriage, wanting children, wanting to move in together. This could be something that you were considering. This person also could have been in a commitment outside of you. I feel like there was a breakdown of communication between the two of you. There's the high priestess is here. So a lot of intuition was coming to play. Uh, there was a lot of things that was unseen or unknown, which could have brought, led to a breakdown in this connection. Or if you are still in connection with this person, you know, you could have been weighing the decision to get engaged, to get married, to move in together, to level this up, to take it to the next level. And there was a lot of unseen and unknown. So what I'm seeing for a lot of my uh, Libras here is the Two of Cups, the soulmate energy, a real connection. This is either something that you're desiring or you're currently being offered because your person is coming through with the Page of Pentacles, which means this is a tangible offer. There is a there is the cap capability between the two of you. You're both wanting unconditional love, very supportive, very solid, very stable love. Okay, so this may be something that you're an offer you're facing and you're considering as well. Or this is you rebuilding your connection here. <clears throat> All right, so in the future, we have the page of cups coming through for you. So this is kind of wearing your heart on your sleeve, being uh, very transparent, being very um, emotional, really expressing yourself. This is offering your love. There is conflict right? Um, then internally. Some of you, this could be an apology for some conflict. But the energy that I'm picking up here is this beautiful Eight of Cups energy. Now, where I say this, you know, where I said, you know, earlier in the reading is before we jump to the future energy and automatically bail from the reading is because immediately what I was picking up is your person may have conflicted feelings. They may have caused some kind of falling out, some conflict. There may have been interference, and it doesn't even have to be third-party interference that came in to this connection. This could be job, this could be friends, this could be hobbies, and mannerisms, ways of thinking. There's an influence that came in on this person's end that caused a stressing moment, caused a, a breakdown. This could be, you know, this could also be them conflicted over something that maybe you said or you did. Maybe you took longer than maybe what they would have wanted to consider their proposal. But this is you offering your apology, offering your love. At the end of the day, this is why I said to wait. I see this Eight of Cups. Now, could this mean that you both may decide to walk away from each other? Yeah, that's always possible for some of you. But I really feel in this instance that this is you both leaving behind the parts of you that don't align with yourselves and with each other so that you can walk into a stronger connection, more stable, more solid. The foundation is rock solid, not going to cave in the littlest problems. So what I see really, what I feel really is you know you being you being open and forthcoming with your emotions which i know you know here we're detached from their emotions the speaking needing to sit them and then feel them and i feel like here you're expressing them and again this can relate to a little bit of conflict within this person because this is something that you kind of held back to this point so when i see you both converging together and leaving behind old patterns that may have not helped this relationship grow healthy or grow strong, but you're changing that. You guys are moving forward together in a new direction, and I absolutely love that. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this tells me that you're going to become stable. You're going to be self-reliant. You're going to be your own uh, love interest, right? 
You're gonna be your own uh, companion. This doesn't mean that you're gonna end up single. This just means that you are going to be your best person so, so that you can present your best self. <clears throat> this is knowing that you want love, but you don't need it to survive. Yeah, I see you guys overcoming some challenges. I see healing taking place, and then look at this. Beautiful, beautiful Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, happiness, and happily ever after. Yeah. Now, there is some emotional overwhelm and some fear and some anxiety that can lead that things are going to end. This could lead to some sleepless nights. But know that you have the tools and the abilities to really change things, to build a stronger foundation. It's about going to need the requirement of some of you to tame your more wild side to get there to overcome your, your fears, your own inadequacies and to face them head on and take action to move this forward into alignment because long-term stability is possible. All right, guys, so let's take a look now at the Romance Angels and see what additional information is coming out for you, Libra. All right, here's the team. Let's take a look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love. And romance, what does Libra need to know for their highest vibration and highest good? Best messages, advice, and guidance for Libra when it comes to love and romance. What does Libra need to know, please? <clears throat> True love, this is a romance of a lifetime. Yeah, absolutely. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, some of you may be coming into connection with or in a connection with or have connected with a twin flame, a soulmate, or someone that has a soul contract. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you see. Beautiful Libra. Absolutely beautiful. I love these messages. They're strong. They're beautiful. This intense. There's some work that needs to be done, but there's beautiful potential here between you and this person. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And keep in mind, keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. All right, and if you're in current connection, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get some messages from your person from the Hidden Truth Oracle. <clears throat> All right, spirit guides and the ancestors of the light, let's take a look at my beautiful Libras and their person, the person they are hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with, have previously connected to, or in her connection, or will be connecting with in the near future. What does Libra need to know for their highest vibration and highest good? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, I'm getting. My life is not as together as it seems. So somebody's putting a false mask forward. They're making you think that things are great, grand, wonderful. If this is an ex, they're making you think that they don't miss you, that their life is going good, but things are not as they appear. This person is more affected than what you know. I'm also getting, I'm so attracted to you. So this is somebody who's really feeling the chemistry, feeling the pull. Um, just like you, they're, they're very attached, they're very attracted, they're, much, they're feeling the energy vibrations. All right, so I'm gonna have a mixture here. This can be, um, and from any of the subgroups, this could be exes, this could be current persons, future persons, and or somebody that you're just coming in connection with. But I'm getting, I remember every detail of that day. So for some of you, this could be the day that you met, the moment they saw you. For others of you, I'm hearing speaking of the day that you broke up. 
like the day where things fell apart, where the argument, I'm hearing big argument happen. I'm getting images actually of a beach um, with, some, uh, with some greenery around it actually. So maybe some steps that lead up into where there's a bunch of thickets of tree made. But anyways, there is this beach image coming in mind. Some of you may have had a falling out with your person on a beach that led to the final breakup. And the reason why they're remembering it um, is because it's their biggest regret. I mean, it's their biggest regret. Um, for those of you who are in a better place with your person, they're just recall, they recall the day, the moment they first saw you. And it still gives them that um, warm feeling of joy and happiness and excitement within them every time they think of it. All right, so we have somebody who is waiting for you to show them a sign that it's a go, that you're interested, it's a go, go, go. I will wait for a sign from you. Someone wants to tell you how they feel. Uh, Libra, someone wants to open up and really kind of gush out all their emotions, right? We see a lot of energy of holding back and uh, playing it close to the chest. We've also seen detached emotions and sitting in them. Somebody really wants to kind of open up and let you know how they feel about you. Somebody is taking some time out to heal at this time. Be patient is what I'm hearing. It's time for me to heal now. Be patient. Because you don't know how hard it was to let you go. So somebody um, really had to fight to do it because they didn't want to. Uh, we have somebody here who replays your conversation over and over in their head. Because they, um, I'm hearing because they really enjoy uh, seeing you and, and talking to you and they enjoy the laughter and the smiles and just the the intimate moments that you share with each other and so they play them through their mind over and over again just to feel that a beautiful emotion uh, and to keep that spark alive within them for others of you this could be your well be an ex who kind of was just as they remember like the day that things went wrong, they're replaying all the conversations looking for that key moment where the first, you know, dis, dis chord happened, where the first bad note was played, seeing if they can figure out how to go back and fix it. All right, guys, without any further ado, we're going to get the zodiac signs that are most showing up dominantly in your energy at this time. So, my beautiful, wonderful Libras, what does that mean for you? All right, so if your person sign comes through, take it as a super confirmation that you were at the right place at the right time and was meant to hear this reading. If your person sign does not come through, but this reading really spoke to you, resonated with you, aligned with you on many different levels, this reading is still for you. It just means that your person sign was present, but not as strong as the other zodiac signs that are coming through for the Gem Libra Connection Collecto. Wow, I'm, so I'm sensing a Libra Gemini connection somewhere. Let me know if that is you. All right, see, I knew I was feeling Aquarius energy. Aquarius is the most dominant sign coming through at this time. We have Scorpio coming through. We have Capricorn coming through. We have Gemini energy coming through. Look at that. Some additional energies, please. We have Aries energy coming through. Thank you. We have Cancer energy and Sagittarius energy with Leo at the bottom of the deck. So our most dominant energies are Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Gemini, Aries, Cancer, and Sagittarius with Leo popping in. All right, guys, that is all I have for you at this time. I hope this gave you clarity into your situation. Please be sure to smash that like button if you have not yet done so. Please subscribe. We'd love to have you part of the Gasserian Soul family. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how this reading resonated with you or simply to say hello. I love interaction and I encourage interaction with my viewers. 
I hope to see each and every one of you in your next reading, wishing you nothing but light, love, and prosperity on your journey forward. Namaste. Bye for now.